There were others, but I can't pronounce their names. I'm really sorry. I can barely pronounce yours. All right, so I am Dead Program, Ron Evans in the real world, Dead Program on all the internets. I run a small consultancy called The Hybrid Group. We do software for hardware companies, and I really like robots. But you probably know that. You may have seen me talk about GoBot, which is Go Programming for Middleware for Robotics, or GoCV, which is Computer Vision in Go using OpenCV. But today I'm here to talk about a really cool new project that I've been collaborating with my colleague called TinyGo. So it's a go for small places, really small. We mean like microcontrollers. In other words, devices that have between 8K and 32K of RAM. I did not say megabytes, I said K, K, thousand, small, right? Or WebAssembly, but you know, we'll get to that in some other future time. So everyone says Go is too big, right? Everyone says Go is just too big. Well, a gopher is a gopher, no matter how small. <laughs> Actually, Dave Cheney did not say that, but doesn't that sound like something he would say? <laughs> so thank you, Dave, Dr. Dave. So I'm going to show you right now that Go can be tiny. Yes, it is true. I am going to show you, and I'm going to show you with this. Let me put the mic down for a second. Hopefully not. Even though I appreciate that, uh, I might. We shall see. So first I'm going to run a GoCV program, so I've got my camera. Hello? Okay. And so now I'm going to show you the microcontroller I'm going to use, which is this itsy bitsy. Literally, Itsy Bitsy M0. It's made by Adafruit. It is a really cool little board. I kind of almost do need two hands. Three, whatever. More. All right, so the Itsy Bitsy is a microchip, the company that bought Atmel SAMD21. It's an ARM Cortex M0. It's a 32-bit processor, 48 megahertz speed, and 256K of flash memory. 256K. All right, so let's do this. The Hello World of Things using TinyGo is a very simple little Go program, package main. We import machine, which is our package from TinyGo, how we integrate with the actual hardware devices. The time package, you've seen that before. And then our main, our first thing we're going to do is say LED equals machine.gpio machine.led. So we're saying this particular machine's LED. We're going to configure it to be a GPI output. So that means we're going to send something out versus receive a signal in. And then for ever, first we're going to set it to low. In other words, turn it off. We're going to sleep for 500 milliseconds. Then we're going to turn it on and then sleep for another 500 milliseconds. So it's the hello world of things as a blinky light. So let's see if this works. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press the little button on this twice to put it into the bootloader mode so I can load new software. I can't show the, can't show the camera. <laughs> That's kind of cute. I should, keep, I should do that on purpose. <laughs> so we're going to load this code by compiling it first. Okay, so we just compiled a bin file. So let's look at how big that bin file is real quick. So we can say that is uh, 2,376 bytes in size, okay, that program. So let's put it on here. So we're just going to convert it into a hex file, which then is going to convert it into the UF2 bootloader format. So it just copies it on there, and now if we go to the camera, we can see it is blinking. Yes, it is real. How can you do that? Isn't that impossible? Well, luckily the Go compiler toolchain itself is written in Go. And then there's this other thing called the LLVM, which is a actual toolkit for building compilers. So if we put those things together, we can use Go's front end to put it into SSA form, then use Tiny Go's compiler to turn that into the intermediate representation that LLVM uses, and then use LLVM to generate binary code. So it's a different way. It's a different gospel of the Go compiler, if you will. 
<clears throat> so you want to know more? tinygo.org, we have a great website that has been put together by the founder of this project, IK, who's actually in the back of the room, kind of embarrassed right now, uh, and a bunch of other collaborators. Also, come see my talk tomorrow, Building K, that's the big building in La Fontaine, 11 a.m. You should be there. Why? Because, first of all, it's the first ever FOSDEM main room talk about Go. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> and it's a very small Go. So there will be prizes, uh, thanks to Adafruit and others. So if you show up, you can maybe win something. So definitely don't miss it. Main room, building K, La Fontaine, 11 a.m. Be there, be there, be there. Also, the very first ever Tiny Go BOF will also be tomorrow at 1300 hours. So after we've all kind of calmed down from the drones flying around and stuff, we can talk about all of this. So thank you very much.